Hello folks and welcome back to another Wise Game video. In this video we're going to be playing the pre-patch 8.0.1 for Battle for Azeroth slash Legions. And what I want to go over in this video is a real exciting new uh, implement that they put in for PvP. This came out maybe about a week ago. And there's still not a lot of players aware of this. So that's one of the reasons why I'm making the video. To help those understand exactly what this is all about. So that's what I'm going to cover in this video which is called airdrops. Now airdrops is just a fantastic way of doing world PvP. Getting people together and actually... It has a strong incentive behind it because it gives you gears uh, and you get honor points for fighting other players, you know, things of that nature. Of course, it's faction versus faction. And uh, so that's what I'm going to cover in this video. So let's get the ball rolling as far as this goes because I had a blast last night doing this for the first time. So the first step you have to do, and this is only going to be covering the Alliance side, not the whole video, but just about this part right here and I will have links embedded in the description panel for all players to read that should get you started as far as doing airdrops so the first thing you have to do to do the airdrops in the game which I will show in just a couple of seconds is an image is um, you have to do the major quest line that they just came out with a couple of days ago once you complete that you can now do airdrops if you don't do it you're not going to see the airship and you're not going to see the actual crate or the treasure box now right now the video is not going to be too exciting as far as action or fighting goes but I'm going to change that in a couple of minutes so right now I'm just going to go over the key details because this is more of an educational video letting you know about this than it is an action-packed video because there's not too many videos right now on YouTube covering this alright so to help you with this number one once you've done the quest lines and all that you're all set the uh, the airdrops are gonna happen every 20 minutes so it goes on all the time it's just you have to wait 20 minutes in between for it to respawn now, what a lot of people do to help with that, you're not going to know when you first come out here because you don't know what time the last one was. But to help you with that is go to time underneath your minimap, click on that, and open up the stopwatch. Now, I'm going to turn on this sound right here. And I'm actually going to show you right now what the airship looks like. Because here it comes. Hear it? You could hear it, right? Let me see. There it is right there. All right. There's the airship flying away. And there's the crate, and I'm right near it. But I'm not prepared for this yet because there's a lot of horde out here, and it's just me. So I would be foolish to go in and get this crate by myself because I'm not in a group yet. So that's what the crate looks like. And it's going to land. It takes a good couple of seconds for it to land by the parachute. Maybe no horde will show up. I cannot be that lucky. And once it lands, you then fight for it if there's other faction. Yeah, see them all? See them all? See my uh, enemy plates? See them all showing up? And if I stretch it, it's, well, it stops the 10. So basically what's happening now is from the time that they loot that, yeah, look at them all, you want to now start the timer again, all right? And that's going to be now 20 minutes from this time, from the time that they loot it, it's going to be 20 minutes now that the next one's going to arrive. So now that this is where we want to go to group finder. Uh, and get ourselves in one of these groups so we could change the odds of this. Now everybody that loots that, everybody has 30 seconds in that faction. So if the Alliance is the first ones to open it, all the Alliance players in Dark Shore can now go to that within 30 seconds to get a piece of gear. The same with the Horde. That's how it works right now. 
Now, for Battle for Azeroth, I think it's going to give you, like, conquest points. I'm not really 100% sure about that, but it's it, it's got to give you something to give 120 players an incentive to do this. Because I'm not sure if it's going to give you gears then. It may be more sporadic if it does. Right now, it's just a catch-up mechanism that they added to the game to get ready for Battle for Azeroth. Now, there is three locations that the box will always drop at, and that's what I'm going to show you next. These three locations, I think my coordinates is really pretty much spot on. They may be off by maybe a fraction or two, but it's not going to be by much. So just go by this map I made, and they'll give you an idea of where these boxes are always going to drop, and there's three spots. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it as far as explaining it. Now we're going to get into some action. I'm going to join a group, put on some tunes, and let's see how it goes. Thank you. 